Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to another makeup tutorial. My name is Tina. If this is your first time, if you've already been here with us, thank you for returning. I thank you so much for stopping by once again. Again, thank you so much for your support. If you haven't watched my previous makeup tutorial, I will have it up here, the link. You can look at it after you're done watching this makeup tutorial. And you can see guys that I've brought another look for you guys. This is a look that I've been rocking every day. When I'm running errands, you can use this look for anything, going to school, going to work, whatever it is that you like. But this look only was created with only minimal products. Minimal products. Yes, you guys, minimal products. So if you are interested on how I created this everyday makeup look using only minimal products, please continue to watch. All right, everyone, I've already done my skincare. As you can see, it's nice, clean, glowy, and smooth. We are gonna start with the brows. I will be using this Anastasia Brow Freeze. First, I am going to take a spoolie and just brush my hair, brow hairs in the direction I would want them to go. I brush, I take the spoolie and I brush just a little product of that Brow Freeze and I apply it to my brow hairs. Now, since I have that brow freeze applied to my brow hairs in the direction I want my brow hairs to sit and not move, I take the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and I set my brow. You don't have to use this much powder, just a lot, a lot of it. <laughs> I dip, dip the brush too deep, deep in the product. Now, you most definitely don't want to use that much powder I used. It was by mistake. I dipped the brush in the product. I dipped it in too deep into the product and a lot of product was on the brush. So don't use that much powder on your brows that I use. So now I'm moving to my brow pencil. This is a brow pencil I picked up from the Beauty Supply. This is one of my favorite go-to brow products. It is light medium brown and what I do is I just add product in the areas where product is needed. I always start at the beginning of the brow and I just move from there. Next, I'm going to start filling my brows, well, cleaning my brows with the NARS Soft Matte Concealer in Caramel.
Once I am done cleaning my brows up, I take my Deluxe Real Techniques Crease Blending Brush and I just blend that product out. All right, you guys, we have our brows cleaned up. Now we're gonna move over to the face. We'll be using the Too Faced Multi Sculpting Concealer. We're gonna be using Butterscotch. This shade is the same shade as my skin tone. So I will be using this product in the areas where it is needed. Next, I'll be using my Damp Beauty Blender, and I'm going to blend the product out. I'm gonna take the bottom part of the Beauty Blender and just blend those lines out. Okay, next we're gonna highlight and we're gonna use Warm Sand. And while that concealer highlighted shade is sitting on the skin to make it more tacky so it'll be more bright under the eye, we're going to add some cream blush, you guys know. This is my favorite blush in Happy. And I'm gonna just, I'm going to just put just one dot on each side. And then we're gonna blend it out. I know that this is looking a little different, but trust the process. Now I'm going to blend out that warm fan. Spring a little highlight. like to blend it over that blush so they can marry each other. Where I have highlighted and placed the concealer and I'm using the Laura Mercier translucent powder. Now I'm going to take my Sephora Micro Smooth Foundation Powder in Mahogany and we are just going to set the entire face and bring the whole look, completed look together.
Next, we're gonna bronze the skin up. We'll be using the Morphe Trailblazer bronzer by Morphe. We're just gonna warm the entire perimeter of the face up. Forget about the the chin and the jaw. And now I'm going to take some of that Laura, Laura Mercier powder and I just want to clean that, that bronze, that bronzer and that blush up, that contour area. I want it to look more defined and clean. So we are going to take that blending brush, that blend, beauty blender and we are just going to blend out any harsh lines. Now I'm moving to nose contour. I'm gonna take that same bronzer that I just used to bronze up my contour areas and we are going to bronze up. We are going, not bronze up, we are going to contour the nose. Take that Beauty Blender again and just blend over that contour. Making sure that we don't have any harsh lines. You guys, drop some comments down and tell me what you think so far, how this look is coming together. I also want you all to comment down below and let me know what your favorite um, go-to everyday products that you use on your everyday look. I'm gonna dust that bake off with this Real Techniques setting brush. Just gonna blend that in. better. Next we're going to add some color to that eyelid. We're going to use that same bronzer and I am using a M441 brush. We're just going to warm up the eyes just a little bit just to bring a little color to the eye. I always like to blend the product into that contour from the starting from the beginning of my brow so it'll connect with that nose contour everything will come together Since we brought a little depth to the eyes, we are going to add a little gel liner. We'll be using the Inglot number 77 gel liner. We're going to line our lower lash line. And I will be using the Morphe M165.
Now we're going to set the face with the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. We're gonna add a little highlight. We're gonna use the Glow, glow Kit, ABH Sun Dip Glow Kit, and we're gonna be using that bronze color. One of my favorite, 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 favorite colors that I like. And I would be using my fan brush. Now we're gonna coat our lashes with the Maybelline Lash Sensational Curling Curler Cooled Mascara. To lips, I'll be using Chestnut by MAC to line my lips. And I will be using Madeline by NYX Butter Gloss just to feel the inside. guys since we're done with the lip combo I am going to put my lashes on off camera and I will be back with my finished look all right you guys this is the finished look I hope that you guys enjoyed the tutorial comment down below and tell me how much you what you think about it how you like it what are your favorite products whatever you would like to share with me I would love to know about it. If you haven't subscribed, sis, go on ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. That way you will be notified with my next upload. I want to thank you all for all of your support, all of your love, all of your comments. Just thank you. I appreciate you and I love you all, guys. I love you all and I will be seeing you all in the next tutorial. God bless and have an amazing day. Thank you.